everyone, my name is April and today I'm going to show you how to make this Sailor Moon coin purse. Let's get started. Here are the materials you'll need. E6000 glue, a gold zipper, scissors, a pack of colorful rhinestones, gold puff paint, and I also have a more vibrant gold paint, a paintbrush, a circular object that is the size you want your purse to be, and a pink heavy fabric of your choice. I decided to use this pink vinyl because I had it at home, but I do not recommend using vinyl if you are a beginner at sewing. First, I'm using a cup to trace out two circles onto my fabric. Then I add a quarter inch seam allowance all around the circles. Next, unzip the zipper and sew the circle pieces on, but leave about a quarter inch unsewn at the top and bottom of the zipper. After sewing the two circles on, you should have the ends of the zipper hanging out. Move them out of the way and sew the opening closed. Also, make sure to unzip the purse first so you can turn it right sides out afterwards. Next, top stitch around the circle so the fabric and zipper tape will stay together and lay flat on the inside. After top stitching, we are finished with our coin purse and can move on to the Sailor Moon design. First, trace the same circle shape you used on the purse and draw a star inside of that circle. Tape the star onto the purse and trace around it. Then apply the metallic gold puff paint over the lines. Let the star completely dry and then draw the crescent moon in the middle. After working with puff paint for this project, I'm not sure if using puff paint is the best option. It was a little difficult to work with and did not create a nice smooth surface for the moon. So if you guys have a better alternative for a 3D look, I would love to hear your ideas in the comments. Once the puff paint is completely dried, I used a brighter gold paint and went over everything again. Then grab a red, green, blue, yellow, and pink rhinestone and glue them in place with E6000. <music> Lastly, outline each rhinestone with puff paint and you're finished. enjoyed this tutorial I love the vinyl look of this coin purse however vinyl was super challenging to work with along with the puff paint so I think that if I were to make this coin purse again I would have chosen a canvas fabric and just painted the design on using regular paint as usual don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel and if you want to share your creations with me you can follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter and use the hashtag Coolerpa. I also have a second channel called Coolerpa Show so if you want to see more videos from me you can head over there and subscribe to that channel as well. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.